everybody, my name is Sabrina Isaac Berry from Berry Challenge Lab. Today, I will be telling the story of Socrates' execution. Socrates was a Greek philosopher born in 470 BC, and he was one of the most influential philosophers ever. For this, in fact, he is considered the father of modern Western philosophy. In 399 BC, he was executed. Why? Because of three reasons. Number one, he was an impious man, which meant that he wasn't very good, at least according to the jury. Number two, he was corrupting the minds of the children of Athens and Greece as a whole. And number three, he didn't believe in the state religion. For these three reasons, he was executed in 399 BC. However, before, just before the execution, some of his friends led him to an escape and offered that escape route. However, do you know what Socrates said? Any normal criminal getting executed would have said yes, yes, but Socrates was not a criminal. He was a philosopher, and he believed that he should not have lived or at least his body should not have lived. Sorry. Let me tell you a... Ah, oh, you ruined it. Okay, go ahead. No, you continue. Continue, don't... You don't now you're going to be cut. No, no cut, People go People are ahead. going to Shh. criticize. Go ahead. <sighs> Plato, <clears throat> now, now just before the execution, some of his friends offered him an escape route. Now, any normal criminal would have said, yes, please. But Socrates was not a criminal. He was a philosopher. And he believed that sacrificing his body for his beliefs was more important than sacrificing his beliefs for his body. Therefore, he declined the escape route. And the next day, he was, poor. He was forced to drink poison hemlock. And that was where the story of Socrates ended. Now, let me tell you a conversation between Socrates and his later influential student Plato right before his execution. Socrates, why you choose not to flee? Why do you think the king wants my head? Because of my body or because of my belief? You believe, Socrates. I already had a trial in Athens. Do you think I will be more welcome in a foreign city than a native one? No, Socrates. And let me tell you something. If I, they want me for my belief, the king would happily let me go as long as I agreed to renounce all of my beliefs. But is that a manner of living? If I renounce all of my beliefs, if I do not change the world. Is that a manner of living or a manner of death? Manner of death, Socrates. So, should I sacrifice my body for my beliefs or my beliefs for my body? Your body for your beliefs, Socrates. And which is more important, my beliefs or my body? Your beliefs, Socrates. Even though I will die, my beliefs will live through the ages. I am glad that you have gotten it, Plato. I will see you on the other side.